Okay, what you want to do is program your swing and then toss your swing. We're always asking young kids the riddle. Does the racket find the toss or does the toss find the racket? Actually, a player should be able to close their eyes, wear a blindfold, and they should be able to serve. So what we want you to do, and Victor will show us, is hang a string, a ball at the end of the string. So for Victor, it's his outstretched arm and racket. Now just show us your contact point, Victor, in the power line. All right, now go through your motion slowly, properly, and then hit. And then I'll set it up for him. Now, obviously, he can do this on his own as well. But hang a string from the ceiling. What you want to do is program this swing because when young people are learning to play, many times what they do is they toss the ball everywhere. But this will help him program his swing to be efficient. All right, do it a couple more times. Just say yes at the hit. So you load on that back foot. It's out at 1 o'clock, low and to the right. Okay, hit a couple more. And again. All right, good job. Now, this is a very, very important exercise, a routine that I find quite often when I ask tennis players that I've told to do this that they don't do it. Now, hanging a string at your point of contact, outstretched arm, outstretched racket. But for Victor, he goes too fast on his serve. He needs to take his time. He needs to coil, get all his weight on the back foot. And then he needs to keep his right elbow down lower. He gets his right elbow up too high. So now the swing is too short. In this position, he can't accelerate the racket. The racket goes approximately five feet. You can't see it with a human eye where the racket goes this way. So when he does this, even though when he first started out, it was a matter of really understanding where the toss is. But for now, he's still coming back and show us working on mechanics. Okay. And again, he just has to steady the ball. Such an important skill just to focus and what do you specifically exactly need to work on? What are the details? Just do it one more time. All right, now back up for a second. Now, even with his left hand, he needs to make sure that his left arm is bent like this. Again, there's not a right way or wrong way, but most efficiently, just like a baseball player taking it out of the glove, to be very, very loose. Another, another thing he does sometimes is he does this on his serve. This needs to be in this position, but it's not a matter of going down together, up together. So the upper body is gonna coil just like the lower body. So think, just think of the left arm, letter J toss, Left arm bent, left arm goes parallel to the baseline. And it's so important so players know what to do, then they can practice and practice on their own. All right, great.